Welcome back, laser community. Now, as you can see, these tiles have been used. You can see ghost images on them or test patterns. So what I'm going to do, these have been sitting outside for a while. I'm going to take them all in, give them a good scrub with some Dawn and water, and we'll be back in a few minutes to paint them. And we're back. These tiles have all been cleaned and dried and are ready for some paint. Because these have been used before, I'm going to hit them all with a nice heavy coat of white paint. This is new for me. I've never tried it before, so welcome to the experiment. Alright. Paint's all shook up. We're going to give it a couple of squirts off to the side just for a nice start. And we're going to put on a nice heavy coat. We really want to cover that previous image that's on there. We don't want that shining through when we go to start our new projects. Like I said, I've never tried this before, so we'll see how they turn out. I'm hopeful. Nice heavy coat. Yeah, we're getting there. As you can see, the previous images are covered. And I'm not an expert at this, so if there's somebody that can post in the comments better ways of doing things, I'm all about the learning. But we've got our nice heavy white coat on there. We're just going to let that sit for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. It's still a little cool out. So I'll see y'all shortly. So we're coming out here to take a look at these tiles that we've painted. And all I'm doing is kind of touching them. See if there's any tacky feel to them. I'm still feeling just a little tackiness. So maybe we'll wait a little longer. You don't want these to still be wet. You want them to be completely dry before you add your next coat of paint. Okay, so I'm back and I have checked all of my tiles. Everything is good and white and dry and ready to go. I don't really see my patterns from these tiles being used previously, so I think we're good to go. Next up, we're going to hit these with a coat of sun yellow. Now I should say, since I didn't earlier, all of the paint I'm using is this Rust-Oleum 2X. I found that works really well for what I'm doing. So on these, it's just a quick coat. We're going to turn them yellow and that's about it. Once again, if anybody knows of something I'm doing wrong, feel free to let me know in the comments. I am all about learning. This is just what I've done that I have found works well for me. It's just a real quick light coat. It doesn't have to be anything super heavy. You can see my tiles are all yellow now. And we'll let them dry for a little while before we come out and hit them with another coat of paint. Stick with me for more. So if you've stuck with me this far, you know that so far we've done our white because these are reused tiles. Then we did our yellow. When you're doing these, you want to go from your lightest colors to your darkest colors. Next up, once again, it's the Rust-Oleum 2X, and we are using real orange. So again, just a real quick light coat. You don't want it to be super heavy. Remember, you're just going to burn through everything on here anyhow. You just want a quick light coat so the previous code isn't visible. I'm sure there are better ways of doing this, but this has worked all right for me so far, so who's gonna complain about stuff that's working for you, I guess? Just a quick, light coat. You wanna look at it, not see any of the yellow coming through. I uh, got a little touch here, but yeah. That's it for the orange paint. We'll come back in a little bit. And for our final coat, I think I'm going to do things a little bit different. Uh, these four up top, I think I'm going to do in a John Deere green. That will be my one exception to the Rust-Oleum 2X. That one is not Rust-Oleum 2X. 
for these five, I'm kind of gearing up towards Christmas direction, so I think I will do those in a red. All right, and I'll be back with you shortly for our next coat. All right, for you, it's been about a quarter of a second, but for me, it's been an hour and a half. And these tiles are feeling pretty dry. So I think we're good to go with our next coat. Now, like I told you, I am going to separate these some because they are getting different colors. We're going to bring this road down a bit. I don't want to get the paint from one on the tiles for the other. So up here, we're going to do some green. Why green? I think I'm going to do some more dragons. Uh, that's what started this video series was I posted some pictures of dragons on YouTube and people really liked them. So we're going to try again. For the green, I am using Rust-Oleum John Deere Green. And once again, it doesn't have to be a real heavy coat. We just want to make sure they're all greened up. And we got a little spot down there we missed. Maybe a little more up here. All right. And our green is looking pretty good. I think we're good on green. So I did tell a little white lie. I had planned on using the Rust-Oleum 2X. But I've still got some of this Krylon red pepper I need to use up. So we're going to use Krylon Red Pepper for these bottom tiles. And same thing, just a quick coat, cover the tiles. This is not super difficult, you know, we're just getting the tiles covered. I'm sorry about the shadows, folks. It's getting on towards that time of day, I guess. But our tiles are all covered and looking good it is a beautiful day out here i really appreciate y'all hanging out with me and once again any comments any suggestions just want to say hi feel free to drop me something in the comment section and until we get ready for our black i will see you later all right, we are back for the last coat. Call it done. Hey, I'm liking it. Uh, we've got our green tiles up here and our red tiles down here. We can bring all these a little closer together because they're all going to be black. There we go. Paint's good. And this time we are using Rust-Oleum 2X Gloss Black. This one I'm going to also try to make sure I get my edges done when I do these tiles. Just gives them a little bit better look if the edges are done. Once again, doesn't have to be a super heavy coat of paint. Looking forward to engraving these when they're all done. That'll take it another hour and a half. I don't know that I'm going to get any of these engraved today, but... Alright. Get these green ones done up. Looking good. And last one. 
I apologize, the camera's probably all over the place, but trying to get these painted and they are looking good. Alright, I want to thank you all for joining me today. If you found this video useful, helpful at all, go on ahead and throw me a like, comment. If you subscribe to the channel, I'm going to do a few more videos on image prep and actually showing the engraving settings, things like that. So if you're interested, come on back. Until next time, this is Steven with S&J Custom Works. See you later.